at this point i was so mad like i'm texting her shaking just i'm just really getting Gucci, Gucci, Louis, Louis, Fendi, Fendi, Welcome back to my channel. I'm Rocky Lene, and if you are new, welcome and subscribe because if you're not subscribed yet, I don't know what you're doing. Like, you got like five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, subscribe. You got it. Okay. As you can see by the title today, I'm going to be telling you guys the story about the worst nail tech I've ever, ever been to. But before we get into the story, I just want to apologize because to my people who watch me every single time I post, I want to apologize because I have not been posting consistently. Um, when the new year started, I was doing good with posting at least one video every week. But I ain't even gonna lie, I ain't been posting because my hair is not done and it looks a mess. And I was trying to wait till I get my hair done, but I'm not getting it done until like next week probably yeah next week i don't know when you're gonna see this video but that's when i'm getting my hair done but i was just like it's been too long so i'm just gonna make a video but anyway back to the story let's just get right into it so first i want to start off by mentioning that first of all I do not, I always go to the Chinese. I go to the same nail shop because I don't know, it's just like that's what I'm used to. But I chose to go to this, I wanted to go to a different nail tech because you know the Chinese can't do everything that the black nail techs be doing. So I wanted to go to a nail tech. So I chose her. I had like five different nail techs in mind. Cause like I be saving people um, profiles and turning on their post notifications so I never forget the Instagram so I had her in mind and I went to her um, booking and she was available for that day so I needed my nails done really really soon cuz I need them done like for the next day or two and she was available the next day so um, I went to her booking link and it said you had to pay a deposit, but I only had cash, so I texted her. Let me see. I texted her and I was like, hey, I wanted to book an appointment for today, but I only have cash. How much would this be and is it okay if I only have cash? And I sent her a picture of the nails that I wanted. She said, hey love, that's $28. What time would you like to come? And I asked her how long would it take because I had practiced that day, I believe. I had something that day. So I needed to know how long it was going to be. And she said 45 minutes to an hour. So, and that determined what time I needed to go. So I said, how's 2.30? Did I say right? 2.30. Yeah. House 2.30 and could you send your address because I need to see how far it was from my house to see when I need to leave. And I was also in school, you know, virtual, so I need to see when. Yeah. So she said, yes, that's a good time. And she sent her location. She sent, like, you know, you share your location indefinitely and you send your location for just where you're at at the moment. So she sent her location and I was like, thank you. So this whole time I'm getting ready to go because it's like, I don't know what time it was when I was texting her, but I'm getting ready to go because I was texting her that day for a that day appointment. So she says, I text her thank you at 103. That's when she sent me the location. I said thank you at 103. She texts me at 152, no problem. And I'm like, okay, I understand she's busy, blah, blah, blah. She texts me. A minute later 153 are you able to come tomorrow so I asked you is 2 30 okay and you say yes that's good now you saying can I come tomorrow why would you tell me that 2 30 is good and it's not like that doesn't make any type of sense to me like what anywho so I said 
no, I needed it today. As soon as she texted me, I texted her back. Then I said, I'm already on the way. Was it a problem? I wasn't really on the way, but I needed to get my nails done that day. So I needed her to think that I was on the way so she could be like, okay, it's fine. You could come. But I wasn't on the way. I was getting ready to leave the house because she didn't live that far from me or work that far from me, whatever. So I just said, I'm on the way. So she was like, I'm kind of behind. My client was late. And I was like, so what time do you think you'll be done? And she said, three. So I'm thinking, okay, that's only 30 minutes later. It's fine. I text her at 2.49, I'm on the way. And she loves the message. And so when I'm on the way, or maybe before I left, my mom was like, she need the address and not her location so she can know how to come and get me, come and pick me back up because my mama don't have an iPhone. So I had to send her the actual address. So I was like, can you send the address so I can send to my mom to pick me up? I said, we got always her house. I was like, I'm outside, not sure which house it is. No text back. I said, which house? And then she sent, I said, which house? And she sent the address. She said, you should see a blue house, bright blue. She said, send me your location. I sent the location and I said, your location didn't say that. So the location that she sent was a house all the way across town, like in a different, completely different direction. So my mama is getting upset and she's like, I just drove, I just drove all the way over here. I'm not gonna be driving all the way around the world because she's sending the wrong location and all that. So yeah. She said, OMG, I don't know what's wrong with it. You should have checked that or you should have sent your actual location when I mean you should have sent your actual address when I asked you for your address. Why would you just send your location? Cause you know Apple be messing up, you know. So what possessed you? To, and I'm pretty sure if she sent me the location, she sent other people the location. Meaning she has sent other people the wrong location. So then I was like, after that, yeah, I, I had practice that day. I said, can I come at seven? Because I had something to do at four and it took me in the opposite direction. And at this point I was so mad. Like I'm texting her, shaking, just, I'm just ready to get my nails done. Like I didn't even, I don't know. Like that made me so mad. Y'all don't understand. Like I don't, ugh. I'm getting mad just talking about it. But she was like, I have to work at five. I'm so sorry. I'm not sure why I sent the wrong location. Mm -hmm. So what do you want me to do? Because first you made a 2.30 appointment. Ask, can I come the next day? I asked, can I come at three? You said, that's okay. Then you sent the wrong location. That's three red flags. Wait two red flags because she asked to reschedule right after she scheduled and then the location that's two red flags right there two i said at this point i'm just like okay i'm just gonna go to the nail shop because i was looking at when the nail shop closed and everything like i was so mad when she said i'm not sure why i sent the wrong location i said okay that's it like i'm i don't i'm done i don't care so then she said, do you mind coming tomorrow, anytime? I said, I don't have time tomorrow. But then, I don't know what just made me have time out of nowhere, but I said, can I let you know tomorrow? Oh, I think, cause my mama couldn't take me tomorrow, so I had to find a ride, okay. So she said, yes, love. And I hate when like hairstylists and nail techs be trying to do that boo and love and all that type stuff because you know you doing wrong and you know that you messing up now you want to be nice talking about some love like girl bye anywho so i said tomorrow at three 
and I was asking her. Then she gonna say two or two thirty is fine. Didn't you just say any time? So when I say three o'clock, why did change it to a two thirty? Because baby, what? Anyway, next I said I have school. I don't get out of school till two fifty. That's why I said three o'clock because I could leave. Like I could join my fourth period class from my phone, but I'm not gonna do that for every single class period. And I got stuff to do. So I said. Is any time before 6.30 okay? And I meant after 2.50 before 6.30 because like I said, I had school. And then she didn't text back. And I text back a couple minutes later and I was like, I can come at 2.30. So probably if I wouldn't have said I can come at 2.30, she probably wasn't going to text me back. So she was like, okay, see you tomorrow. I loved her message because I was still, still mad. So I have texted my cousin and I asked her, can she take me? Cause my mama couldn't take me that day. So I texted her, asked her, can she take me? Boom. I said, hey, I'm on the way at 1.54. And she said, okay, love. When I said I'm on the way, hold on. So I was like, will you be ready to do them at two? Because I live closer than expected. And she said, yes. Then she texted it back a couple minutes later. I'm not sure because I didn't look at these times. And she was like, I'm at the address you were at yesterday. When I said, hey, I'm on the way, that's when you should have sent, okay, I'm at the address I, you were at yesterday. You don't wait like no 15, 30 minutes. Because I said I'm, I'm closer than expected, meaning I'm already on the way. I'm almost at the other address that you sent, that you were supposed to send me yesterday that and now she's talking about she had the other address why are you doing nails at four five different addresses in the first place because you got folks going to the wrong place wasting gas and then still have to pay you to do their nails girl ooh. and i want to put the picture of my nails because it's a lot more i want to put the picture of my nails in here but i tagged her but i don't really think folks gonna remember but i don't even care so i was like i'm pulling up Luckily, my cousin wasn't mad about that. But, yeah, if it was my mama, she would have had a fit. But I was like, I'm pulling up. And she was like, okay, you can come in the side door on the right side of the house. I said, okay. So I walked to the door. I'm knocking on the door. Knock, 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 knock. No answer. Knock, 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 knock. No answer. I think they had a doorbell on that door, too. Ding dong. No answer. I text her. I said, I'm out here. She didn't text back. I'm calling. Calling. No answer. Mind you, it's raining. So I'm out there on the side of the house in some wet, muddy grass while it's raining. And you're not answering the door? Calling. Calling. She finally answered. I hear her yelling. She said somebody's name. Beep. Go open the door. Beep. Can you open the door? And I'm just like, bro, I'm standing out here in the rain, in the muddy grass. And you're taking forever to open the door. Like, come on now. So I finally go in the house. And it's like a garage that they turn into a room. So I'm sitting on the couch waiting, her, waiting for her to finish her last client. And she told me she would be ready to do them at 2. But she wasn't. So I'm sitting waiting for her to finish her last client. And I'm being patient. Because while you're not at you, I'm being patient. So while I'm sitting there waiting, she has two dogs. They're small dogs. But still, if you got people coming to your house to get your services, you shouldn't have your dogs all up on them and stuff. So her dog is jumping on me, smelling me. And I'm just sitting there like... Ma'am, ma'am, can't get your dogs. I didn't say that, but because I was already like, I really didn't want to say nothing to her. But yeah, so I'm just like, can you get your dogs? Like, because mm -hmm, yeah, yeah. what? Like, your dog is jumping on me, smelling on me, licking on me. I don't know where they've been. So I get in the seat 
and she started doing my nails we both quiet um yeah she started doing my nails and she doing them she doing them we get to the acrylic part and see me i used to want to do nails so i used to be looking up like the bad acrylics and stuff like that and i used to be in like nail text comments and people would talk about what um what acrylic brands are bad and stuff like that so she started applying the acrylic and i was like that's the acrylic that this is bad so in my head i'm just like oh my god oh my god she's one of them nail techs <gasps> so she applied a thin layer of clear acrylic clear acrylic and then another thin layer of clear acrylic mind you i'm getting white nails so I'm confused as to why she's using clear acrylic. Unless she was going to use gel polish, which she didn't. So she's doing very, very thin layers on top of each other with that acrylic. Because the acrylic that she was using can't do big beads. So she's using really, really small beads and doing layers of them. So she did like four layers of the clear acrylic and then she used a white powder it's not acrylic it's like nail art powder she used that white powder and put it on top of all those clear acrylic layers so on my head i'm just like oh my god these this is the type of nail tech who they be talking about in the comments talking about they using um nail art powder as acrylic so I'm still not stressing it because she is only charging $28 and they were a pretty good length like this long. So I'm not stressing it or whatever. And I'm also getting a bling, bling and full. So that's really good, $28 for that. I paid for what I got, honestly. So um, then the nails were cute. Like her, she knows how to do nails. It's just she doesn't have good acrylic that's the only thing and they were like really thin because the acrylic was really thin she was doing layers of them um that's really the only thing about it um after that what happened um, oh yes she kept texting people and but I understand like her clients and stuff were texting her but she was getting on the phone with folks she was going on Instagram and I'm like, I see why you got behind. And I see why I was still waiting after you told me you was going to be ready at 2 o'clock and you wasn't. So, next thing you know, she get done with my nails. I pay her. And that's really it. Like, it's just like, the it was three red flags. First, she, she scheduled an appointment and tried to reschedule for the next day. A couple minutes later after she scheduled it. Second red flag, she sent the wrong address. Third red flag, her dog sniffing all on me. It was four red flags. And the fourth red flag is her acrylic quality was terrible. So I will never go back to this girl. Like, I don't know. Like, it was cheap. But I'm finna stop being cheap because you get what you, get what you pay for. And that's what I had to start learning, like, even like with my hair, I be trying to find somebody who do it the cheapest, but you get what you pay for it. But the girl who do my hair, she be doing good for the cheap. <laughs> but some people think our prices is high, but they not to me. Okay, I'm off topic. But yeah, you get what you pay for, y'all. Remember that, moral of the story, don't be cheap because you get what you pay for. Yeah, and don't be last minute because that was the problem too. I was last minute and I was cheap. So, yeah, that's the end of this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below if you liked it and what you would like to see next, and share with your friends. And if you still ain't subscribed yet, and you watched that whole video, and you at this part, you're just a hater. I'm just going to say you're a hater because, yeah. Anyway. To my people who have subscribed, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Like Gucci, Gucci, Louis, Louis, Fendi, Fendi, Prada.
Prada. Them basic bitches wear that shit, so I don't even bother. Gucci, Gucci, Louis, Louis.